Close your eyes for a moment. Picture the gentle hum of a cafe, the laughter of friends, the hiss of milk steaming. Now imagine every one of those sounds suddenly becoming sharp, intrusive, unbearable. For millions of people, this isn't imagination, it's reality. A simple conversation can feel like a jackhammer, a passing truck, like an explosion. This isn't just being sensitive to noise. This is hyperacusis, a hidden neurological struggle that can turn the soundtrack of life into a constant assault. Today, we're unmasking the mysterious sound world beyond normal hearing, revealing the brain science, the human stories, and the cutting edge research behind a condition that's often misunderstood and painfully overlooked. To understand hyperacusis, we need to first understand what happens when a sound enters the ear. A wave of vibrations travels through the ear canal, hits the eardrum, and sets the tiny bones of the middle ear into motion. Those movements ripple into the cochlea, a spiral-shaped wonder that translates vibration into electrical signals. From there, the signals race along the auditory nerve to the brainstem, make a pit stop in the thalamus, and finally reach the auditory cortex, the command center, that tells you whether you're hearing a whisper or a roar. In most people, this pathway is finely tuned. In hyperacusis, something subtle but significant changes in this journey, a shift that can make ordinary sound feel unbearable. So what's happening in the brain? Scientists point to maladaptive gain, the brain's volume control stuck on overdrive. Others believe it's a glitch in central auditory processing, where the brain misinterprets sound signals. And then there's neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself. Normally, that's a good thing. But in hyperacusis, repeated exposure to sounds the brain perceives as threatening can create a feedback loop, locking in the hypersensitivity. And it's not always about loudness. Certain pitches, the texture of a sound, or even visual cues can trigger discomfort. Meet Harper, a bright, curious young girl with autism. Harper doesn't just hear the world. She hears everything. Sometimes, sounds feel too loud. But what if that sensitive hearing was actually a superpower? When her neighbor's kitten goes missing, Harper discovers she can hear what others can't. I hear him. This way, follow Harper's incredible journey, where being different becomes her greatest strength. My hearing is my superpower. A heartwarming tale of courage, kindness, and celebrating what makes us unique. Hypercusis often walks hand in hand with other conditions, tinnitus, migraines, even PTSD, making it harder to diagnose and treat. But there is hope. From gradual sound desensitization to experimental drug therapies, researchers are exploring ways to quiet the brain's overreaction without muting the joy of sound itself. For those living with hyperacusis, life can shrink to avoid sound-skipping social gatherings, avoiding restaurants, even wearing ear protection at home. But with awareness comes understanding, and with understanding comes better support, better research, and someday better treatments. So here's the ask, help make this invisible condition visible share this knowledge, start the conversation. Because everyone deserves to live in a world where sound is not the enemy, but part of life's music. <laughs>